Another exciting day here at the command center with the JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Guys, this is what's going on right now. The battery's already connected. I have the FUD focus writing, and you guys can see I have the inverter on and it's charging. The amber light is showing you that uh, uh, it's on grid. So these are the things there. Let me show you the writing there. You can read it and you see what the, the meters stand for. Guys, it's interesting charging these batteries. Let me show you how much kilowatts I'm pulling right now to charge these batteries here. And uh, you can see it's pulling 1400 watts. It has been going over an hour now. 1400 watts and look at the voltage of the battery. It's going to 57.6 and it's pushing power back to the batteries. And uh, here you can see the Magnum is still here doing its thing. It's not charging right now, but look at the things running simultaneously. Folks, we accomplished the one old mission. We just execute this thing. The battery is already wired, and I just want to show you guys I'm excited. And the 48 volt is up and running for for the fact, mere fact, I haven't got it to um, connect it so that I can start a pulling power right now. So today is the initial start. The initial start just to show you that um, we are inverting or charging right now that's a good sign you can see the amber light right there the orange is on that tells you it's charging and you can see it on the mate right here and that's the hub right there is flashing right now so there is no solar like i told you guys i shut down the solar for you check the video since i started posting um, I haven't got to the solar up till now. I'm still on the grid. But what I do, I charge on the grid and burn the power. You know, it's cheaper. You know, seven, no, it's, sorry. It's nine cents in the winter time here in Minnesota. My location, nine cents we pay for a kilowatt. And winter, summertime is eight cents. So it takes me two hours or maybe an hour after two depends how the battery are low and to charge up this battery so it's cheaper for me to run a power like that if it's if it's I'm pulling right now 14 1400 watts on the uh, outback and um, 1400 watts constantly so you have to multiply that because one hour 14 hours so it's just uh, eight and uh, nine cents nine and a half cents okay so so you have to go like two hours of that is very close which is a uh, it gives you a 14 14 so it's gonna give you about 2800 so a little bit of that almost very close to three hours for me to round up to for that it um point something to keep catching up to the like two times uh um nine cents but it's constantly pulling 1400 watts from the grid charging my battery so you do the math you know charging for two hours is nothing and i run almost two two days straight when the batteries are charged so what kind of savings is that it costs me about you know if i have to spend approximately uh 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 30 cents or 25 cents to charge the batteries then i can run all day some people go for day they burn over ten dollars or five dollars a day so if the batteries are charged and off the grid there we go running on the batteries for two days that's a one old heck of a deal i can't beat that at all folks i just want to show you guys you know right now i'm tired i don't want to go through the batteries and open up and show you what i did but trust me, Outback is back. The Outback Flex Max or the Outback FX 3048, the 48 volt is up. It's not even running yet. And you can see this guy is on, is doing about his own business. And guys, it's interesting to have all these machines running simultaneously. Look at that, we're sitting at 92%. The only downside about this, 
I don't have any battery monitoring system, which is the FNDC, the FlexNet DC, that's supposed to be like a shunt for this one. Like I have the uh, the, the BMK battery monitor kit right here, the BMK. So I can't even get the state of charge for for the outback, but I can able to incorporate with um, a trimetric, or I can able to incorporate with um, um, uh, Victron on this if I wanted to, but guys, everything seems to work perfectly. But I wanna thank you guys for all your support. I wanna thank you for being part of this project. I wanna thank you for being patient and supportive and for following me around with all the subscribers all the years. And guys, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. And thank you. And we're going to be bringing more serious videos coming up right from this channel. Right here at JW Solar USA. When we're going to do a load test on the 48 volt live in Minnesota. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share. Well, guys, that's what it is. And we just caught that on camera. There's a uh, lights right here. Little lights. There's an amber light that's an aux auxiliary and just kick in. That's to tell you that the heat sink is warm because this baby has been pulling. There's a lot of heat here. This baby has been pulling a lot of power today, charging and constant voltage and constant wattage, pulling 1400 watts constantly. And now the turbo fan just kick in, it's right underneath here. This is how the turbo fan works, and this guy don't even turn on like other uh, inverters uh, does. And bringing you back, it's still pulling. It's over an hour, going to two hours now, constantly pulling this power, filling up the batteries. And uh, this guy is here taking care of business. He's pulling about 3.4 amps. So. This is what we're pulling from the grid right now. We're charging. And that's why um, the turbo fan just kicking. I hope I can able to grab the uh, uh, temperature uh, uh, um, laser gun and try this guy and see how much uh, degrees uh, Fahrenheit or centigrade or Celsius we're pulling from this uh, one old system. But guys, this is awesome. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I just want to show you. This is what I have here for my temperature gun, you know, infrared uh, thermometer. So you guys can see, I have two of them. So I'm going to be using one to check the temperature here. All right, guys, as you guys seen, I have the red one right now. So let's try it. So let's put the thing right there and see. You see the laser right on the corner. Look, I running right around. So it's 110, 112, depends on certain areas. So I'm going to bring it down to the transformers down here. So let's see what it is. It's cooling down right now, 116 degrees C. Let's check on the turbo fan. It's 80, it's cooler. Let's try the corner right here and see what it is. And we're pulling over 112. 117 you guys can see on the on the corner right there I'm pulling see the laser is shining down there 120 I just hit a spot 120 degrees Fahrenheit so for the benefit of you guys overseas let me put it in um, in Celsius in Celsius let's see what it is it's uh, 48 degrees Celsius and let's check underneath there 46 48 44 I'm moving it as I'm moving it Okay um, Let's go up here. I'm going up I'm going up So up here is kind of cooler. I'm going down again Temperature is going 47 See that? So yeah, it's kind of warm. So guys, this thing is generating heat 
45 right now. So that 45, let's convert it. So 45. Let's see. So we're generating a lot of heat. So the turbo fan is right there. You guys can see the orange light on the corner. It's gonna say ox. So if you look here, you see the positive and negative on the ox. That's the light right there. It's a green pin that connects. So it comes on automatically, turns on automatically. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to turn it up on and off. Someone was asking me a question about it. Um, and this is how it works. I just have to uh, get it on camera. I was almost um, about to post the video and uh, kicks in and I have to show you guys. So the, the temperature listing is a, is a die hard machine. It's a die hard. This oh, you already cool, cool off. Yeah, this thing is a die hard because a big heat sink. So pretty soon it's gonna shut off and it's gonna go about its business. And uh, trust me, and we're dropping down to 1200. We were 14, the batteries are getting all the way up there. So it's cooling down. And thank you guys for watching. I thought I should um, show you guys, and uh, this is how it is. Bye for now. Subscribe and share.